boys. Welcome to the sack. I'm up here on the lift. We got a leak in this thing. I got all this oil. There's all oil everywhere. We got a wicked, wicked old system here. This is our expansion valve. I don't know if you guys can see this well, but here's our liquid line. This is our suction line. This liquid line right here. I don't know if you can see the bubbles. Probably not. But it was rubbing on the suction line. I just had to raise it up right in here. That pipe is leaking. Very hard to see, but I got to get in there, raise this up to fix that leak to get these guys going here. Sorry if you can't really see it, but it's underneath here, trust me. So, I'm gonna get in there with my torch. Raise the rod and just raise that up. It's a little worn out. We'll, we'll color that in. It's up in there. But these systems are like so old, guys. It's ridiculous. But um, anyway, they want to keep it going for now, so I got to get them going here. Try and get you guys a better view here. See where my finger is right there? Raise this pipe up a little bit. It's so hard to see. It's in here. There's a little crack right in this liquid line. Right in there. But anyway, I'm gonna braise that up. That's all I gotta do. It's under here. Just color it in. See that little crack there? Color that in and that's gonna take care of this leak for us. Get them charged up and running again here. Sorry for the angles, guys. I'm in a real hot angle here. I'm up on the sizzle lift and everything. And hands in the way. This thing's just an old mess, so. I apologize if you can't see well. All right, guys, so as you can see, I just braised that up. So all you gotta do is color it in, okay? You can see the bend on this pipe. I don't have time to put a coupling in. We'll put in a whole new piece of pipe here. We got a lot of calls. I gotta get these people running. So, we got produce in here. We gotta get going, but that's all you gotta do. Color in a little hole like that, it'll be fine. She won't leak again. Once the braise is on that, stronger than the pipe is, so. That's that for that one, boys. I gotta go get some gas and uh, get this baby going. For this one, boys, get her all charged up now. Get her charged up, get her running. That'll be it for this one. I got another call to do way down there in the other building. Way down there, we got another box running warm, so try to get some footage of that one if it's anything decent for you guys. But that one's it for this old piece of crap. So. They're gonna be changing these out, new blowers, everything at some point. Hopefully it gets done sooner rather than later. Another unit here, just came from that building way over there. But down here we got another one. I guess it's been banging out on and off according to the energy management system. I got a feeling it's probably high head pressure or something. Maybe a fan out, something like that. The coils don't look dirty on this, but you never know. So take a look at this one, see what's going on. So just as I suspected, boys, we got a bad motor here or something. We got a couple blown fuses on here. Uh, these are for our condenser fans. We got two of them. Uh, if you come over here and look at this one, you can see in here. Look at that. All the blade's broken on the shaft. The motor seized up or something and this blade. Look at the blade. I don't know if you can see that. It's missing the Allen key and he had to lock this blade to the shaft. <laughs> oh, nice. So anyway, that motor's done. I'm gonna make sure that one's okay. Hopefully we can disconnect this one for now because they probably gotta order this. Maybe get a new blade as well. So hopefully we can get them running off of one fan here anyway for now for the weekend because it's Friday. But um, so I'm gonna get out of my truck, get some fuses go from there. Right, so here's what I did for now boys. I figured out what wires went to that motor that's bad. I just unhooked those for now to eliminate that motor so we can run this off of one motor. Um, I installed my two new fuses as well. So another minute here I'm gonna get this thing ready and stop. Up and running. The motor's going. We're gonna uh, I got head pressure in a sec. I just want to take some amperage readings here. Yeah we're all good. This will run off one motor for now. Be fine for the weekend. You're we gonna have to get the motor. But we got other calls to get to, so in this heat, we're just gonna get shit running, you know? Yeah, we're ready to get that 
fine. Should be good on one motor. So, then a little quick one for you guys. Like I said, sometimes in the heat you just gotta get things running and come back. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna be able to get that motor today. So, but really not a big deal. They only run this box also like on uh, about 45 degrees. So it's like 51 now. So it's not like a. It's gotta get down real, real cool. So. We'll be good to go on this one for now, guys. All right, so what's up, boys? Another week done. Uh, you know, today's the fifth after the fourth, so at least we had the fourth off. Most of us, hopefully, a lot of you guys weren't on call. Um, like I said, I just wanted to show you uh, those couple of things real quick. First off, in that leak repair, um, before the YouTube police come, because I'm sure they will, saying, oh, you didn't change the dryer, and you didn't do this, you didn't do that. Uh, no, I didn't do that, because the customer didn't want it done. Okay, the customer wanted it fixed and running. All right, they've been on us for days to get over there to get that done because it's been out of gas. The system's been completely flat. Okay, so you got to understand sometimes you got to get things running. And this customer at this particular place is notorious for um, they do the bare minimum, they just want this stuff running. Okay, so some customers are like that, guys. You can talk to them all day till you're blue in the face, and it's just going to be like. They don't care. You can tell them issues, potential problems they'll have. They don't care. They just want it running. Plus, those are apps that are in that place. They're over 30 years old. They're from the 80s. All right? So, it, they don't care. They just want it done. They're supposed to be changing that stuff out eventually, but who knows? For now, we just got to we gotta keep band-aiding stuff, and it's just the way it is. So, um, And then the second one, you saw that with the, um, the fan blade on there. The shaft was just spinning, obviously. It must have been. Sorry. It's a dragonfly coming in my face. Um... It must have just been spinning there with that, you know, the blade not spinning. So the, uh, the motor must have over ramped, blew, blew the fuses, and that was it. I've never seen both the um, Allen keys come out of the hub like that. I've seen one, but not two. But whatever, it's fine off one fan for now. The coils were clean on that, so we had good airflow and all that stuff. So whatever, I'll get them a new motor for Monday, and that's it. You got to remember, guys, sometimes in the heat, I know my other video, I said, you know, don't rush around, don't kill yourself. You have to know how to do it. You have to know how to rush around you got to know the jobs that you can go fast on and get out of there and other jobs that you got to stay on it it all comes from experience too this particular place all those buildings it's a huge produce place when we do uh probably three quarters of the places in there i've been down there working over 15 years so i know what what i can leave and what i can't and what's running right and what's not you know it, it just all comes with experience over the years you guys will understand the longer you've been in the business and you know, you veterans already know, you know, so, um, again, guys, if you're new to the channel, um, consider subscribing, and for all you other guys that have been there, I appreciate all the support, guys, it's been great, I've been glad I can get some videos up for you this week, I know you guys really like the stuff in the field, so, I'll try to get some more of a coming for you guys, and I hope, hope I'm able to help somebody out through all this, so, again, boys, try to enjoy your weekend if you're not on call, and if you are, good luck to you, all right, <laughs> so, I'll catch you boys in the next one.